operations in order to simplify these arithmetic expressions. Okay, and the first one, I see the parentheses here with some multiplication occurring on the inside. So first I'm going to perform the negative 2 times the negative 1, which would be positive 2. So I have a negative sign out in front, a 2 in here, being cubed, plus 3 minus 2 squared. And next I see some exponentiation, so I'm going to perform both of the exponentiations I see. 2 to the power of 3 would be 8, so I'm going to write an 8 right here, plus 3 minus, now 2 squared would be 2 times 2, which is 4, and good. Uh, no more exponentiation, no more multiplication, so now I'm just going to add or subtract from left to right. Negative 8 plus 3 would be negative 5 minus 4 and minus 4, negative 5 minus 4 is negative 9. Let's try the one on the right now. So on the right we have parentheses and within those parentheses we have exponentiation. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this untouched and inside of these parentheses I'm going to do the negative 2 cubed which would be negative 2 times negative 2, 4 times negative 2 which be negative 8 minus negative 2 quantity squared. Okay, next, inside of the parentheses on the right, I have some work to do, so I'll keep this one the same. And over here, I'm going to perform now the negative 8 minus negative 2, which of course would be negative 6. So now I have negative 6 being squared. Okay, now exponentiation, so we're going to perform the exponentiation, still keep this over here the same, and negative 6 squared is negative 6 times negative 6, which is a positive 36, and now we just have one step of multiplication and one of addition, so we'll perform our multiplication now finally, negative 2 times negative 4, 8 plus 36, and that would be 44. Okay, think you feel ready to take a shot on one on your own? Why don't you try this one over here? Pause the video, give it a shot, and assuming you give it a shot here, I'll do it here so we can see what the answer is. Okay, lots of exponentiation and, oh, a little bit of division inside of parentheses. So, I will keep the exponenti exponentiation by itself for now. I'll take the negative 8 divided by 2, which would be negative 4, and that quantity is going to be squared. Now in the next step I'll do my exponentiation. Uh, 2 cubed is 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 minus negative 1 cubed is negative 1 times negative 1 for 1 multiplied by another negative 1, so I get a negative 1 in there. And then negative 4 squared, negative 4 times negative 4 would be a positive 16. Now it's just addition and subtraction, so we'll perform left to right. Negative 8 minus negative 1 means to add 1, so that's going to be negative 7 plus 16. And negative 7 plus 16 would be the number 9. So the final answer to this one is 9.